Hey guys, Crazy Calendar Lady! I'm a little better, so I'm squeaking, but at least I could talk to you. <laughs> it is Sunday, December 17th, 2017. It's really glad to talk to you again. Um, <laughs> I hope you had a great day today. Did you do anything concerning flights, like with the Wright Brothers or Pan American Day? I did. I tried to get a flight and holy Christmas, was it expensive. Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, I also did something for Maple Syrup Day. I had pancakes for breakfast. Well, I had one because I had some other stuff, but I had syrup. Um, <laughs> um, some holidays for tomorrow, December 18th, Monday. Um, here's a fun one for you. It is Answer the Phone Like Buddy the Elf Day. It's Christmas. I'm so excited. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, it's Big Cookies Day, so it might be a good time to get together and... Um, you know, bake some cookies with family, friends, co-workers. I don't know why they made it on a Monday, but <laughs> it's always celebrated on December 18th, no matter what day of the week that is, including if it's a work day. Um, it is United Nations Arabic Language Day. I told you guys I know like two, three phrases in Arabic. Um, I would love to learn more, but I'm really bad at retaining information. I can pick it up for about five minutes, and then it's gone. Poof! Um, <laughs> so if anybody wants to teach me Arabic, let me know. I am all about it. <laughs> Zukron uh, or Sukriya. Um, it is also National Ham Salad Day. Um, and there are actually two holidays for pork on this day um so ham salad it's okay um i like it occasionally i'm not a big fan um but it is also roast suckling pig day and i'm not sure i've ever had roast suckling pig but it's called suckling pig because it's um piglets that haven't been weaned from their mother yet um because they're flesh is a lot more tender than an adult pig um, and it can take up to two days to cook they can be anywhere from nine to twenty pounds um, and you know they usually sold by how many people you're planning on feeding so they should make a get ready to prepare your roast suckling pig day because you need to start today at least to get it done by tomorrow <laughs> um, it is Migrants Day, um, and uh, this is a day to kind of recognize that migrants have been around forever, you know. I don't know if people think that this is a new thing, but it's been in the news a lot um, because people, you know, want to improve their situation. They want to get away from a bad situation, um, and it's happened since the beginning of time um um but now we're kind of blurring the lines between development and migration and um you know kind of okay how can we improve the situation in the place that they're leaving and also improve the situation in the place where they're going to um and uh the 2017 theme for this year is safe migration um, and they are um, focusing on two new global com compacts coming up in 2018 um, the global compact on refugees and the global compact for safe orderly and regular migration which I think is kind of a good thing because it can be kind of hectic and crazy and overwhelming um, but at the same time you know um, the improvement of society in today's world has provided opportunities that these people didn't have in past times you know um, 
cars and boats and transportation that weren't around um, or weren't available um, have now become kind of commonplace and um, a lot more available so and accessible. Um, so it's a thing. Um, they are doing another day without migrants. Um, I wonder if nomads count because <laughs> I've moved all over the place <laughs> trying to better my situation <laughs> and now I'm here. Um, so yeah, I've, I've moved a lot, um, but it's been mostly in the United States. <laughs> I think, I think I've been to all 49 states. I just have not made it to Alaska yet. And apparently I have to get my passport to go there. So I'm working on that. I'm working on it. Um, and last but not least, it is wear a plunger on your head day. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, just because of its history. <laughs> um, I hope Uh, and a couple places were asking, I wonder if they're talking about snowflakes or if they're talking about flake flakes, like people flakes. Um, but um, I'm going to focus on the snowflake part. And um, they said, because most people know that um, snowflakes have six sides and they're pretty close to identical but they're not perfect um and uh legend has it that no two snowflakes are exactly the same um and that seems to be the case but it is not scientifically impossible um especially because there are millions and millions and millions of them you know patterns do tend to repeat themselves um but also in negative um, two, I believe it's Celsius, um, snowflakes can actually freeze triangularly. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, gosh, I want to say there was one more thing. But um, <laughs> my brain is like a sieve. Like I said, I learn stuff for about five minutes and then poof, it's gone. <laughs> Um, it is, uh, Christmas bird count week, but I don't know why they call it a week because it is every year from December 14th until January 5th. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's December 14th to January 5th. Um, and it's just, uh, to count the birds that you see and, um, especially the winter birds and it helps keep track of like migratory patterns and different changes you know especially with global warming happening and um uh like human um development coming up can interfere with migration patterns as well um so it's just something to do especially if you like birds um Especially if you feed the birds. I know a lot of winter birds like fat in their diet, um, like suet or peanut butter. But if you do peanut butter, make sure you put um, seeds and stuff in it. Um, from what I understand, the peanut butter can block their throat. Just like if you eat peanut butter plain out of the jar, if you don't have something to drink, it can kind of block your throat. It can do that to the birds too. So make sure you put seed in there so they don't choke on it. Um, and definitely have some water in your yard too, um, and, uh, try to check it often so it's not just a big block of ice. <laughs> um, birds can't drink that. Um, <laughs> it is closed caption television month. Um, I, not only do I have a little bit of a hearing problem, um, like, sometimes I can hear that something's happening on the television, but I can't tell what it is. 
Like I know somebody said something, but I don't know what they said. So I'm like reading the stuff on the bottom. I use closed captioning. Um, and it drives some people crazy because it's like blocking off about this much of the picture. But I've learned to work around that. Um, but with my headaches, it's like, okay, here's the remote and I'm turning down the channel. And it just feels like it's, the room is blowing up and I'm turning down the volume. And I'm turning down the volume again because it's too loud. <laughs> so the volume's like, you know, this. <laughs> and I'm reading the closed captioning and still watching what's going on. Um, I can't hardly hear anything, but <laughs> I still know what's happening. <laughs> um, so that is all I have for you today. I really apologize for yesterday. It was bad. Um, <laughs> but I, I hoped you enjoyed seeing a different video. No audio. <laughs> um, have a wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Be safe, stay warm, and I will see you then. Bye.